from Central Ohio's News Leader. Presented in high definition, this is 10TV News HD. Live pictures from Grandview Heights. You can see a little bit of snow there on the bush. Might be all the white you're going to see this Christmas, but Mike Davis will let us know. We're glad you're with us at 630. I'm Anitra Hamper. What a scene in Chile this morning. Miners, rescuers, the entire world overjoyed with the miraculous early morning rescues that continue to unfold right now. Good morning and thanks for joining us this morning at 630. I'm Anitra Hamper. It's so exciting. You see that little boy walking to his dad who yeah. just came up out of the mine. The world has been watching this for months, of course, as those South American miners survived underground and are now being rescued as they work around the clock to reach them. Now at 5. 10 TV News HD. Well, your breakfast cereal might not be as sweet in the new year. Starting in January, Post Foods will reduce the sugar content of its fruity and cocoa pebbles cereals. The company says the change will provide a healthier food option for children. Now, Post is the latest in a number of food companies to address the increasing nutritional concerns of consumers and the heightened awareness about childhood obesity. Some companies still use diacetyl. Others want to distance themselves from the stigma by using substitutes. But in the billion dollar a year microwave popcorn industry where flavor equals sales, we wanted to know what is the cost to workers and consumers. While the FDA looks into consumer exposure, what's being done in the meantime to protect consumers? Lawmakers in Washington, D.C. say they're keeping a close eye on the FDA's next move. NIOSH researchers at this West Virginia lab say right now there is no known safe replacement for diacetyl. Essentially, companies who use them are using substitutes with unknown toxicity when inhaled. But what substitutes they're using are protected by trade secrets. During our investigation, we have also discovered that researchers from the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health are currently testing those substitutes being used in place of diacetyl. And preliminary reports are showing that those chemicals, in some cases, Andrea, could be even more toxic. Oh, great. So what are consumers supposed to do in the meantime? Right. I asked the FDA because we want to know what we're supposed sure. to do. Right now, the FDA considers it safe. So they're not telling consumers not to buy butter flavored products. So what we've done is we have put the FDA links on our website, 10tv.com. So if people want to ask them themselves and get some of their questions answered, uh, it does it leaves the consumers with a lot of questions. They can do that. And we are going to be following this story. So we'll let you know what happens next. From my safety training and flight suit fittings to my preparations with the team doctor, and even my name on the plane. For a moment in time, I was a part of the prestigious Air Force Thunderbirds. Here we go, Nitra. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. So there's one, two, three, and four. Woo! And a powerful 9G turn. Hi. Right. How you doing? And oh, look, a surprise visitor, Anitra Hamper in the house, everybody. How are, it's not such a surprise that you're here. Oh, I made it down here. Liquid, I got all my liquid. I think we're good. You doing all right? I think you're good. This is my buddy, Eli. Look at the fish oh, he just caught. Wow. And since he just caught that one, I'm breaking all fishermen's etiquette and I'm stealing his spot. It's a great time out here and people uh, ought to come out. I don't think I'm going to get that. Look at this. What do you think of the spike heels and the uh, bull? It's wonderful. Got my own set of horns. <laughs> That's wonderful. Guys, thanks so much. It's going to be a lot of fun at Nationwide. Thanks for coming to Columbus.